All right, Claire, do you want to start off or do you just want to take questions? Um, I think I'll take questions. So obviously with the, the suspension of the, the team at West Kentucky and firing of Bruce Marchand as of June 30th, how does that affect your future in terms of training at West Kentucky? You know, as, as far as what I'm going to do in the future since uh, they've been suspended for the next five years, obviously, you know, Bruce has got to, I'm going to follow Bruce. And he's been an amazing coach. I've had, you know, an amazing support system while I'm there. And so it's very sad that I have to, you know, move away from my home where I've been eight years and so I'm gonna we've been talking about stuff uh, nothing's official yet but you know he's been very good with you know keeping me calm and relaxed and, you know even with the meat you know is a very important meat and wanting to do well so he's been uh, very on top of things and I think in the next month we'll figure out what we're gonna do um, I think you know he's good about making the best decisions for me and um, and what's going to be best uh, for my future and you know Olympics are coming out quick and you know I want to perform well there so he's you know got have he has all that in mind and so hopefully we'll know uh, as soon as possible and of course with world championships coming up later this summer it kind of throws everything a little bit yeah I know it's like it's coming up quick it'll just be a few months away so again I think and that's another thing he's trying to make you know quick decisions good decisions um, you know get some long course in um, that sort of thing so hopefully like I said as soon as possible would, is obviously the best. <laughs> what was your reaction when you found out to, did you hear it from Bruce did you hear it um, you know, when I heard that the team was suspended, um, I was actually getting off the plane and of course had a lot of um, really upsetting calls from, you know, former teammates, current teammates, things like that. Um, obviously cried a lot. Um, you know, with, with what's been going on, it's, uh, it's been a lot of negative negative comments and it's been really repetitive the same things over and over again and I don't think that people are showing who we really are who Western really is and I've been there for eight years and it's been an extremely supportive team we're we're a family and um, you know we we go to practices at 5 a.m. and we we go through the we push each other in practices every single day and we're with each other and when we're not at the pool you know we're still together and you know the people that I went to school with are gonna be my bridesmaids and you know uh, they're my best friends and when I have upsetting times and when I have happy times they're the people I call they're the people I talk to every day and so to to hear this um, is very shocking um, it's uh, you know I don't think anybody was expecting the entire team of course you know um, I think what the you know hazing and I'm you know I'm very I feel very strong about that and if anything like that happened I think you know punishment should be you know should happen but it seems very um, very big and very people are very quick to judge mm -hmm. and um, you know I know this team very well and I've, you know, like I said, I'm with them every single day, multiple times a day, and it's just kind of, you know, it's sad to see an entire program be cut from, you know, a few people's actions. Um, and I think it's also very one-sided, which is very, very upsetting, I think, for most of us, because um, you're showing one person's view and you're not really seeing um, everything else out there and how, how great the coaches are with us and how supportive they are. Without, without them and without my teammates, I mean, in college is not easy, you know, with swimming and then trying to add in, you know, getting a college degree, it's hard and um, you need that support system and they've always been there. And uh, so that's why it's so upsetting for me to, um, for people to be so quick to judge and um, because this is my family and um, they mean the world to me. And, uh, so I'm, I've been pretty upset the last few days. It's been nice to have, um, you know, Bruce wasn't able to come to the meet, but it's been, we've had, we had another assistant coach come and it's been a good distraction um, because you know we're trying to keep things light and now focus on the swimming um, but you know it's going to be I head back tomorrow morning so it's going to be a little sad and I hope that when we both get there we can support the team you know it's uh it's also sad that thinking about everybody splitting up you know we're a family and, and this is my family and, and it's hard to see You know, I'm glad that they're, they're getting out there. They're able to get picked up by other teams. You know, their passion is swimming and 
they get to keep doing that, and that's important. But it's hard, you know, hard to see everybody. Everybody split up like it is. So tell me about 2016 Rio. <laughs> What's the plan for there? You know, I'm excited about Rio. Um, trials are coming up very quickly. Uh, it's funny, you know, four years ago, or three years ago, thinking like, oh my gosh, you know, four years, it's so long, what am I gonna do? People were asking me, you know, oh, it's so far away, how is your training gonna affect it? And, and so, um, you know, it's coming up quick and, um, you know, I've, like I said, I've got a good support system and people are there for me and in my training. And, and it's, even now, people are, you know, coming out of the woodwork saying, you know, player, if you need anything, um, you know, give me a call. So it's nice, nice to have that. You know, I still have my weight coach, my uh, swim coach, my sports psychologist, all of them are still there and uh, still supporting me. And so, you know, it's going to be, the next year is going to be very difficult and training wise and very challenging. So it's, uh, that's, that's good. That's a good thing, um, but it's gonna be hard. That means that I'm gonna be improving and, um, you know, top two spot. It's, there's a lot of, um, as you can see, there's a lot of good girls out there and hopefully um, I'm one of them. <laughs> what, do you have an opinion on what might have been up? That's it first and two is Josh Lamb and Ramp Pine, 2071. You know, I can't make that decision. Um, that's a very, I think there are a lot of factors involved. Um, a lot of things maybe I didn't see. Um, you know, I think a lot of people are saying like, why are the women's team being cut? And a lot of people are questioning that. And, but again, you know, that's a, that's a very tough, you know, thing to make. I think, you know, it's the president, the athletic director, student, um, I think the student affairs, but there are a lot of people involved. Um, and I can't say whether or not it's just, it's just sad. Sure that's, I think that's all I can say. there any plans or any thoughts of where you and Bruce might be moving to to train? Um, yes, uh, but you know, I think that I don't like to jinx things. So, you know, come Charlotte, ask me again, and hopefully I'll have a definite answer. Um, but right now, you know, just looking at the options, you know, what are the options? and. Um, and I think there's quite a few for us. Um, so I'll let you know in a month. <laughs> Great, thanks Great. so Thanks much. for coming back there. No, I think that's good. Thank Great. you guys.